the channel, everybody. I want to thank you for hitting that play button. Oh, yeah. She's a beautiful vet. This is your very first time stopping by. My name is Chuck. I want to thank you for hitting that play button. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, if you're not already what I call a family member, then make sure you definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button next to it so you know each and every time I'm putting out a video. One of my current e-family, that's someone who's been with the channel for a while, do not miss out on the merchandise that I have, whether it's one of the hats, whether it is one of the shirts, or whether it is one of the polos. They're almost all gone. Once they're gone, that will be it. I won't be ha I won't be doing any more of those. And I just want to make sure that everybody, because I know some of you watch a video, maybe you don't get to watch that video. And uh, Chuck, I didn't even know you had any merchandise. You know, I didn't know you had some type of special deal going on uh, but they're great prices I mean you're talking about a shirt for 20 bucks a hat for 20 bucks you're talking about a polo for $30 where can you go and get a Corvette polo for $30 nowhere link of course it's free shipping because that's just how I roll here but go down to the description below it will be linked Corvettes 918.com so let's jump in the car go take a quick ride and you know discuss a few things <laughs> today I'm gonna to be showing you some b-roll footage of a Corvette event that I was at yesterday with my vet club had a great time going down to Oklahoma City we went to Cattleman Steakhouse if you happen to you know whether you're from Oklahoma or not they've been they're well known they've been down there for over a hundred and some odd years and you know it's just a uh, uh, was a great restaurant great steaks I'm not a real big steak eater I don't eat a lot of them but that was an amazing steak uh, I had a great time going down with again with the vet club and, and on the way back. So I'm going to give you some B-roll footage as I'm talking throughout uh, this uh, this video of some of those shots of those cars. Let me know if you like this type of format. You know, maybe I'm thinking about you know doing a video maybe once a week where we get in and maybe we talk about a subject that some of you can send in topics. So while we're discussing that, I can be showing you you know drone footage, B-roll footage of of the Corvettes. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in watching. A few people sent in some items this week and I want to say thank you to each of you. Uh, Gary, uh, also known as G-Money, sent in a couple of magazines, the Corvette magazine as well as the New Roads magazine, both featuring the ZR1. Uh, you know, those are special editions. I didn't have them. He sent them in, said, Chuck, I thought about you and wanted to send these to you so that, you know, you could frame them, put them up somewhere um, because it's a special car and you want to have as much uh, information on it stored away as, as possible. So Gary, thank you for that. also want to thank Jonathan and Hyde for sending in a ZR1 hat as well as a pin, which I thought was really cool, uh, as well as a shirt uh, that was from the uh, Corvette Museum. Uh, so Jonathan and Hyde, I want to thank you guys for sending that in. Uh, and I truly do appreciate it. also want to say a special thank you to Steve and his son. Steve, I believe it was your son that sent me in a shirt. Uh, on the front of it, it says DZR Messiah. And then it also on the back, it says Oklahoma racers are the craziest. <laughs> I don't know about that, but hey, I think that was a really cool shirt. Uh, I want to thank you guys for sending that in. They are the owners of uh, West Memphis Fence Company there in Arkansas. Uh, so if you happen to live in the Arkansas near their area and you need a fence, they sound like uh, some great guys to buy a fence from. Several people had told me whenever they went down and did their museum delivery that they were told kind of during the inspection uh, or kind of as they're going to go over the car with you about burnishing uh, the brakes and that is where you would get out and you would go zero to 60, um, slam on the brakes and do that 50 times. Well, I'd sent an email in because I had someone else say, Chuck, I don't think you need to do that. Um, and I believe it was in the owner's manual uh, that you only needed to do it if you were going to take it to the track. And so I got in there and looked because I, you know, for mainly for my wife's car, you know, she's not, that Grand Sport's never going to go to a track. It's never probably going to do real competitive type driving. Uh, and I know there's a lot of you who have the ceramic brakes and aren't ever going to touch a track. And people were reaching out to me saying, Chuck, you know, after your last video, you talked about how you were going to be, you know, doing this break in with your brakes. Is that something that I need to do? So I reached out to Shane, 
uh, sent him an email. He's down there at the museum who's over the deliveries. And he told me, he goes, Chuck, you know, the only time that that needs to be done is if you are going to be taking it to a track. And they only recommend that you do that process, um, you know, maybe a few days before you actually go to the track or you do your very first, you know, whether it's going to be a, a heavy autocross or, you know, something like that. Then if you have the carbon ceramics, then you do need to do the burnishing I believe I'm saying that right, uh, where you would do the, the zero to 60 and then kind of slam on the brakes and do that 50 times. Um, but he said, if you're never going to do it on a track, he goes, if you're never going to do an autocross, then you don't. there's no need to do it. It's a process you don't need to do. If you have ceramic brakes and you're not going to take it to the track, there's your answer. Hope that helps you out. For this video, I am going to be changing how I share people's cars at the end of my videos. I get a lot of emails, I get a lot of Instagram posts, I get different, you know, people sending me direct messages on different social media platforms, Chuck, can you use my car in the end of one of your videos? How I'm going to do it going forward, and I get photos that I don't even, there's no name on it, the email address is just a bunch of numbers. So going forward, what I want you to do is if you want to share your ride, and I don't care if you've done it in the past already, and it doesn't have to be a Corvette, it can be anything, as long as it's some type of sports car, or maybe a really cool motorcycle, or maybe you've got an 18 wheeler that you know that you drive for a living and it's you know it's really sharp and you're proud of it, then I want you to send me at least three pictures. You know, you can send more if you want to, but send me three good quality pictures and make sure you put in the description. You know what it is and then you know the year of it you know anything that you would want for for it to be in the captions of um, those three photos because a lot of times I'll get pictures and there's there's no details of, of it whatsoever so give me your first name if you want to let me know what state you're from that's cool I'll put that in there and then you know some information that you give me about the cars and you can send those to my email address it's Corvettes 918 ZR1 at gmail.com. Before I leave you guys this week and you go on through the rest of your week, I want to give you a real quick word of encouragement. You know, Zig Ziglar, somebody who's just a, was, an, was a man of God and he was also a great philosopher, has a lot of great quotes. And one he said was this. He said, far too many people have no idea what they can do because all they've been told is what they can't do. You know, in our lives, we can have, we all have relationships. You know, whether it's in my case on a social media platform, maybe you, you have friendships at work, you have friendships uh, outside of work. And, you know, one thing that I've always tried to do in my life is I try to keep just people around me who are positive. You know, people who always, you know, I like people around me that always see the glass half full and not half empty. Now, I was talking with a lady earlier this week, and she was over 100 years old, and I asked her, you know, when I'm around people who, you know, are older than me, I like to ask them information. You know, can I get a word of, uh, just a word, a nugget out of them that's going to make me a better person? And I said, you know, is there any advice that you would give someone about, you know, as you get older? I said, you're, you know, you're, you're over 100, you're high. she was 101, she was telling me she's very active, and uh, she, you could tell she was just as sharp as, an, uh, as a tag. And she said, yes, sir. She goes, the secret to not getting old is don't hang around old people. I start, she started laughing. And I kind of started laughing. I said, what do you mean by that? She goes, you know, she goes, when people get to a certain age, a lot of times they like talking about their medication. They like talking about their surgeries. They like talking about how they do all these aches and pains that they have, and it's it's hard getting old. And you know, all they do is talk about those types of things. She goes, "I love being around people that are always talking about what they're going to do next. You know, about you know what they're doing, and you know, excited about life and full of energy." And she goes, "If you hang around people like that, she goes, it helps build you." And that's so right. You know, so many times in our lives, even when one thing that I've learned about being on social media and as my channel has exploded and as, uh, as things have, you know, progressed in social media is that I, I can sometimes, I don't allow myself to get burdened down with people who are negative. You know, I've had people that, you know, I'm, I posted something about, you know, my window tinting and one guy, you know, sent me two posts and three emails about how, why it was illegal and, you know, I kind of let it go and then it seemed like every time I post something he was just negative about it. 
And so finally, I just blocked him. You know, and he's not the only person, but I've blocked other people that are just negative or, you know, whether they're using profanity or whatever. Because for me, I only like people around me, not yes people, not people that are always going to tell me what I want to hear. Because I enjoy feedback because that's what makes me a better person. But I don't like people that are negative. And, you know, that's one thing I want to encourage you to do this week is to take inventory of the people that you have a relationship with. We need to love people, but we need to make sure that we're only keeping people around us that are like-minded, that, you know, they, they're positive people. They breed, you know, you've got those people that when you're around them, you just like being around them. Why? Because they're just contagious. There's just something about them. You know, you just like their energy. You like how they come across. You, you see them and, you know, they're always the same person. And, you know, yes, we all have our bad days. We have our bad moments. I do. Everybody does. But you want people that are, you're, when you're around them, man, you just, you're excited to be around them. And so, you know, as Zig Ziglar said, far too many people have no idea what they can do because all they've been told is what they can't do. I want to tell you, my friend, you can be anything you want. If you're a young person and people ask me, oh, Chuck, you know, Chuck, how do you get to the point where you can own a ZR1? How do you get to the point where you can go out and buy a Corvette? Everything takes hard work. There's some people things are given to, but those are very few. Not very many people have 800,000 people watching their YouTube videos and they're making tons of money. If that happens to them, that's great. That's a blessing for them, but that's a lightning in a bottle. You have to work. Sometimes you have to, you have to tell yourself you're willing to live like no one else so that later you can live like no one else. As until I see you at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed week. Now, let's check out some of your beautiful rides. Oh, then, what I know now